Good day, everybody. This is the Hemet Hermit Modeler coming at you from my workbench. I've made a little bit more progress on the uh, 1953. See if I can do this. That's the, there, I actually have it right side up. The 1953 Chevrolet from Monogram. This was a 1991 issue. The original came out, I think I checked it out to be 1978. I was curious on that myself, I wasn't sure. I went ahead and used the 427 engine. I wasn't too impressed with the lower side of it, but the upper side, I was able to do, do some uh, some changes with it. I made it uh, worked for me. And uh, I have uh, most of the wiring done on it. I've got to do the front end of it yet, uh, the uh, alternator, uh, changing this over to an alternator uh, from the generator. And uh, I've still got to wire it down to the uh, starter solenoid. And let's see, what else do I have to do on it before it goes into, that's about all I can really do on that before it goes into the body. The linkages will have to be done yet. But they're going to be tricky because so I'm going to have to do those once I get them into the bot. Once I get this all into the body, uh, the body made it up to this, that's when I'll have to do all of that work. So that's going to get tricky on that. I really prefer to be able to do that when I have uh, room to work with. I'll run my transmission linkages. I can do those yet. So anyway, uh, tires and wheels, I wanted to do the white whites from the... Uh, for the kit, but I was not able to find a set of white whites that suited me. So I found some kit issue. I think these are actually Studebaker hubcaps on this thing. But anyway, they uh, helped to tone down the effect. Uh, the body, the body is coming next and that is going to need a lot of bare metal foiling on it. Uh, that's gonna keep, uh, actually I was surprised at how much uh, bare metal foil there is on that it's going to really keep me busy and uh, the interior I went very stock in the interior except for the floor shift there I wanted this to appear just as stock as I possibly can to get that real sleeper effect on it I want this that uh, when uh, it would pull up to the stoplight uh, it would surprise you taking off you're noticing in the 23T Depot hack box back here, that's another project that is coming up, actually getting started. I've got it open up. As you can see, that's all the parts in it. That's going to uh, be kind of Fred Flintstone meets George Jetson someplace in the middle. Uh, the, uh, Let's see, what was the other, oh, the 39 Chevrolet sedan delivery. Uh, I've just got that sitting in the box right now. That's gonna, that's a Halloween build. Um, I'm kind of at a stopping point on it right now to get some other projects done here. So that's kind of where I'm at at the moment on this. Like I said, that's the engine that I'm working on for that and mating that together. So yeah, the next thing will be the bare metal foiling that goes on on there. Now you notice the top on this, I don't know if you can tell the difference that it's not shiny like the body. The body actually, before I bare metal foil it, has got to go through one more, uh, let's see, yeah, just, is that one more? I'm trying to think, of, yeah, I've got it done to one more sand, wet sanding on it. And then I'm gonna do a clear coat and then I can uh, actually do the bare metal foiling. And after that, that'll get another clear coat. But I'm not doing anything with the top at the moment because it kind of gets, you know, set on things and such. So I'm kind of holding off on that before I really finishing up, finishing up anything until I can have that so that I don't destroy that top surface there. So anyway, this is the Hemet Hermit Modeler. Uh, reminding you to uh, be sure and tell your friends, hit the like button and the subscribe button, and be sure and ring the bell so that you get future episodes. And I am off the air and gone.